Okay, so moving on, this one has a full-size Mary Cranberry scrub. I love that scent, that's just so good. And a Wildberry Blizzard, also love this scent and all the colors, so nice. And then we have a Banana Buttermilk, Unscented Soap, and a Pink Grapefruit Soap. I'm just gonna put those down in there like so. And I do cover that up. If you were ever around my husband and I for very long, we do a lot of quotes from Oh Brother Where Art Thou. <laughs> it's a very quotable movie. And when I talk about my supplies a lot of times, I'm like, wow, isn't this a geographical oddity? It's three weeks from everywhere. I think it actually says two weeks, but I don't know. It's usually two or three weeks from everywhere around here. But I'm pretty sure it says two weeks now that I think about it. Okay, so we're going to put in a uh, cocoa. And let's see, we've done... Mostly soap, so I think we're going to put in, let's put in a Mary Cranberry sample. I think that would be great. Okay, I've got my, my stuff ready there. And his, uh, his wife's one. I spoke in my pace and counted to three. Works. That's just all there is to it. She spoke in her piece and counted to three. It's just time to shut up. All hope is lost. Oh, anyway, I start to get a little loopy up here. You've been packing orders for days, and it's just very, it's all very repetitive. It's a fun repetitive, but it's repetitive, so listen to music mostly. Kind of a mix of Christmas right now, and I don't know. I start getting bored of the music though. Who knew that the dude who plays Dean from Supernatural actually put out an album? And I kind of like it. So I've been listening to it. And let's see what else. A lot of oldie Christmas. I'm, I do like some newer Christmas stuff too. But I like the older like Elvis and Beach Boys. Mostly what I listen to. It's not... I don't know, there's just not a lot that's appealing to me right now. Alright, so we have another one done. So into this one is a Wildberry Blizzard 4 ounce scrub. Ooh, and Wildberry Blizzard soap. Mmm. Smells so good. It is so good. Then a little shred. And then we have a snow angel, which is like snow fairy type. Wax melt. So this package is going to a fellow Holly. And it always feels weird. It's like, thank you, Holly. Signed Holly. How weird. So we have a Santa's Workshop wax melt. This one, this was my pre-made one, but I'm kind of getting low on them now. Um, it's like the elf set, elf sweat type, which is such a horrible name, I think. So I called it Santa's Workshop, but it's a whimsical scent blend of fizzy soda pop, candy canes, dripping syrup, sugar crystals, and sweet candy. So that's a fun one. And let's put in a candy cane and cocoa. And this box is nice and full. I actually have a lot of Holly customers. It's kind of fun. I suspect that um, we are all somewhat in the same age group. Seems to be a very um, typical name now. I was supposed to be a Christmas baby, but I decided to show up a month early. But I was due at Christmas time, I do believe. But I am a November baby. Okay. 
Okay, so I am just not the best bow tire, but I have come to terms with it and I have decided that tying a not so perfect bow is still just fine. I'm sure that my customers don't mind. So with this release, you know, I'm using these tags. Well, this is how they come on a big roll like this and I find it highly obnoxious. So I've actually been, whoops, I've been cutting them just for ease and then I put the vertical ones in a pile and the horizontal ones in a pile. It's amazing how much time is wasted just by um, fussing with this roll. So anyway, I found that it works best if I could just, just go ahead and get these cut and laid out and works out nicely. I do like to personalize my orders and the holidays are always special with the ribbon and so I'm uh, personalizing this tag and I'm personalizing my my notes and so it does take me a while to pack orders and and I'm okay with it I put it out there about my turnaround time because I I know what it's gonna be it's a very squeaky pen I've noticed that doing this Again, I should have put this on before I tied my ribbon. Well, now that wasn't necessary. I frayed the ribbon. Not necessary. I've done pretty good at not having a lot of obnoxious things happen with this release. Um, I did need to print a PayPal order once and it refused uh, shipping. And it refused to do that. I ended up having to go to the post office's website to do it. And cost me about two dollars more. I was like, what gives people? And this PayPal thing has been going on for days, like days. But their shipping is not working, so I don't know. I don't know if it was just my account or what. But we have another cutie done here. In fact, I'm just going to put it, the name on it and grab another one real quick. I went looking all over for these and they were right here. So I do like to put my room and linen sprays which I have six um, holiday versions get that nice and tight I like to put it in a bag I think it's best to protect it and then just do a little twisty tie so I have a peppermint soap and dust and echoes I'm pretty sure that one is sold out at this point Looks like I'm going to have to stack the soap. And then we have a Mary Cranberry scrub. I mainly just needed the length for this, for the room and linen spray. So we're going with a 9 by 6 by 3 on this one. This is an overpour of some my vintage Christmas. I think we'll tuck in one of those. So I gotta write it down real quick. These videos are always just super chatty and not straight to the point. And just, you know, if you had just come into my studio and were sitting over there in that chair. This is what it'd be like. It would just be me yammering on, and that's the point of these videos. And what many have come to love and enjoy. So that's how I make them. Now, unfortunately, there's some big changes coming to YouTube. And I'm not sure the status of my channel, if it will continue next year or not. So, that's some... Big decisions to be made. A lot of um, this change is super open-ended and very confusing and I'm just hoping that it gets figured out between now and then. Okay so this happens occasionally. I just was uh, marking off the invoice and there was a soap that was not pulled from this for this order. So now we need to 
resituate. And we'll try this all over again. So what I think I'll do, I'll put the, okay, let's do the peppermint. And this one also needed a bayberry soap. And I'll put the dust and it goes kind of up on its side. Like this is what we'll do. And then there will, should, hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Okay, we're going to put all the soaps there. And then we're going to put the scrub here. Like so. And now we're going to let this one kind of waterfall over. And then we're going to take the spray. Put it in there. And do this. Well, now since we up the soap, now if you're watching this, my samples aren't always even and exact. Um, I don't try to rip people off or give up other people more. Sometimes it's just the box size, um, etc. I'm going to put in a snowberry sample. Have I not even packaged a single snowberry soap? That is so weird. You know, Products ebb and flow, and that's why it's so hard for me to know. Like, um, sometimes Figgy Cream will sell, 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 and so I'll make a huge batch, and it'll sit there forever. Like, and I'm like, why do I make such a huge batch? I don't even know. I mean, this happens. And then, you know, one year, Christmas candy cane cookies usually sells like hotcakes. And this year, I'm... Don't be surprised if I can give them away. And what else? Let's do this this time. And it's just, it's different every single year. Snowberry usually just sells out right away, and this year it didn't. And that's fine. You know, that's just the way it goes. That's the interest usually hits on one thing uh, really strongly and not on others. And what was a superstar one year? May not be a superstar the next year, but maybe the year after that. You just never can tell. I know a snowberry is well loved. It just didn't really get the love with this release in the same way as it normally does. And that's why it's so hard. I guess I'll just leave that. That's why it's so hard for me to plan what I need. I've done pretty good this time at gauging. So, I'm pretty pleased about that. But I've, I figured this out fairly recently. This is going to be this video. I don't even... I'm sure I want to know how long it is that I have to edit down into somewhat of a reasonable time frame. So, thank you for watching. If you are interested in watching me pack more videos, which this is a very popular, popular situation, then I'll see you back here for the next one.